Hello class, good morning. Uh, like I said, our topic of discussion is trigonometry and on that trigonometry we are going to look at the tangent of triangle. Uh, looking at my diagram there is a triangle which is a right angle triangle. And there is an angle indicated here which is called an included angle. And the line facing the angle that like I said earlier is called the opposite line which is OPP, opposite. The line above the angle is called the hypotenuse and the hypotenuse is HYP while the line under down the angle or under the angle is called the adjacent line which is ADG. So every right angle triangle will have this nature. So automatically the tangent, the tangent or from the word SOKATUA, from the word SOKATUA which is S O H C A H and T O A. This one is called the sine. Sine of the angle equals to O stands for opposite, then H stands for hypotenuse. This one stands for cos or cosine of the angle, which gives you adjacent. A stands for adjacent over H which is stand for hypotenuse while this one stands to be the tangent the tangent of the angle which equals to O stands for opposite while A stands for adjacent like I said so this one and this one will be discussed later in our classes while presently we are going to talk about only this one that is tangent of the angle so here will be clear we are going to concentrate only on the tangent of the angle the tangent of the angle like I said is a tan that is tan theta theta is the angle the tangent of this angle equals to the opposite line which is O O stands to be the opposite and the opposite line to the angle is this that we have opposite of our the adjacent a stand to be the adjacent and the adjacent side is this place so we are going to put our a d j k so automatically this is where we are going to concentrate more so tangent of angle is always equals to opposite of our adjacent opposite line of our adjacent side will be the one to discuss more so going to this or looking at this i don't think we have any other issue if you have any question under this you can you can ask but this formula or this expressions is what we are going to use more and more in this very class let us look at an example to see how we can make use of the tangent to solve some problems so as you can see this table is called a tangent table is a tangent table for some angles 25 degree has a tangent of 0 0.4663 tan 30 that is tangent 30 degree has values 0 0.5774 tangent 35 degree has values as 0 0.7002 tangent 40 subsequently to 70 degree in fact all the angles have their all respective values when viewed from the tangent table the tangent table and sometimes calculator will give you these values. Immediately you press tan 25 degree from your calculator, you are going to have 0 0.4663. Once you press 30 degree, the tangent of 30 degree, you are going to have 0 0.5774. So if you have calculator with you there, take it now and press tan 25 degree. Definitely the values must be 0 0.4663. If it is tan 30, it's tempting. You are going to have 0 0.5774. If calculator is not working, or if you don't have calculator to make use of, there is a way to find these values. To find these values, we are going to flip to page, the last page. We are going to flip to the last page. And in this page, if you can see, we have sine of the angle, which is now the one 
we are going to look for the tangent of the angle we are going to look for the tangent so here it is cosine of the angle which is not the one so in this place is where we can have our tangent of the angle this is the tangent of the angle so looking at the 25 degree 25 degree is somewhere around here 25 degree is here so 25 degree to find the 25 degree the tangent of the 25 degree since there is no any figure in front of the 25 is only 25 here so you mean you are going to find 25 under 0 25 under 0 when I say under 0 looking at here this is uh, X that is the value of the angle you want to find under 0 under 1 under 2 under 3 under 4 under 5 under 6 under 7 subsequently to 9 and this is called a differences in case there is a number in front of the angle you want to find assuming here is 2256 or 25.5 or 25.6 so you are going to find 25 under 6 then differences should be there but it's not the difference now we are looking for we are looking for the angle or the values of the angle 25 degree so it's going to be 25 under 0 25 under 0 is this place which is this 0 0.4663 25 under 0 will be 0 0.4 Six six three. All right. So exactly as the example say in the or on the table there said you should find the tangent of the following angles and the angles are three. Number one or number A is twenty five degree. Letter B is thirty degree and C is forty five degree. Simple. Once you write solution, you take your A figure letter which is twenty five degree. To find this, we have two methods of finding it. We either use calculator or we use tan tangent table from the textbook or four figure table. So if you want to use calculator to find this, the only thing you do is to take your calculator, press tan, after pressing the tan, then you press 25 degree, after pressing the 25, then you press equality sign, the final answer will be 0 0.4663. That's how somebody will find this using calculator. Let me repeat. Press tan after pressing tan. Press 25 degree. After pressing 25 degree, press equality sign. The answer will be 0 0.4663 exactly. If this cannot be done using calculator, you are going to find it using tangent table. To find this using tangent table, the same thing. You are going to look at the tangent table as 5 degree, the tangent of the 25 degree. Since there is no any figure in front of the 25, it's only 25 here. So you mean you are going to find 25 under 0. 25 under 0. When I say uh, the other angle, which is angle B, which is 30 degree, you can use calculator to find it or you should use tangent table directly from the textbook and evaluate it simple so if you want to use calculator to make this necessary to solve this is to press the tan after pressing tan press the angle which is 30 degree after pressing the 30 degree press your equality sign the final answer will be 0 0.5774 the answer will be 0 0.5774 using calculator let me repeat to find the tangent of the angle 30 degree you if you want to use calculator you are going to press tan first of all after pressing tan you press the angle which is 30 degree after pressing 30 degree then press equality sign the final answer will be 0 0.5774 that's how you can find it now if you want to find this angle from the table you are going to look at the uh, 30 under 0. 30 under 0 definitely from the textbook will be 0 0.5774. Let's look at it from the table. So to find this from the table, we are going to look at the 30 and the 30 is this. So to find this 30, it's going to be 30 under 0. Looking at the table, immediately when you go to the right side, you are going to have 30 under 0 because this column is 0 
this column is 1, the other one is 2, here is 3. The other one is 3, subsequently to the 9. So what we have here is 30 under 0. And the 30 under 0 is this, which is 30 under 0 is 0 0.5774. So that is the reason why once you press tan 30, you are going to have 0 0.5774. No doubt. All right. Immediately after those explanations, we are now jumping into the uses of tangent. Uses of tangent meaning we are going to use the tangent to find some missing sides, like a right angle, triangle, opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse. One of them may be absent, one is given. So in this case, you can use the tangent to find the lines given to. So after this, I have written an example up on the board. If you can see, I said we should consider the triangle below and this triangle is right angle triangle mind you this tangent sine and cosine are called trigonometric ratios and those trigonometric, trigonometric ratios are applicable only to right angle triangle we cannot use isosceles triangle for it we cannot use equilateral triangle or scaling triangle for it the ratios are applicable only for right angle triangles like in this one, it is right angle triangle. That's why this place is 90 degree. Now, since this angle triangle I mean, is right angle triangle, we can use the tangent to find the missing side. Now, had it been this side and this side are given, we don't have to use tangent. We can use Pythagoras theorem to find the missing side. Now, looking at this triangle, it's only one side is given, and we're asked to find one other side. An angle is also given. That is the included angle is given. Then we can use tangent to find this x. Looking at this set word, find the value of x. Simple. We can use the tangent to find the value of x. Like in this case, solution. After writing solution, you now uh, take the tangent of the 30. That is tan 30 equals to opposite over adjacent. Like I said earlier, remember? Opposite over adjacent and the opposite side is x. Now we put x over the adjacent side is 4 centimeters. Now we can now use 4. So when you have this, what will you do? You should put one under the 10 30, make it fractional everywhere. After making both sides fractional, then what next is to cross multiply. When I'm cross multiplying, I'm not saying you are going to multiply 10 30 and x. 1 and 4. Cross multiply meaning the denominator of the first side times the denominator of the second side. The denominator of the first side times the numerator of the second side. That's how we cross multiply. In this case, we are going to see x times 1. x times 1, like this, x times 1, then equals to tan 30 times 4. Tan 30 times 4. Now what we have next is x times 1 is x, as you are seeing, as all of you are seeing, will be equals to 1030 is 0 0.5774, then times this 4. Now x will be equals to, you can press this using calculator, you can use your IQ to multiply it at the back of your page, at the back of your book, sorry. Whatever result you have will be written down here. So let's see how we can get it. Now we have 0 0.5774 times another 4. Now what do we have? 4 times 4, 16. Carry 1, right? 4 times 7 is 28 plus 1, 29. Carry 2. 4 times 7 is 28 plus 2, 30. Put 0, carry 2. Then 4 times 5 is 15. Plus the, uh, 4 times 5 is 20 plus the 3 you carry. That is 23. Carry 2. Now, 4 times 0 is 0 plus 2 you carry, you just 2. So the answer is 2.3096. So without having any issue here, you can count 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then you now put points in front of the last number. So what we have at the value of x here is 2.3096. 2.3096. x equals 2.3096 centimeters so that is the volume of x simple let me explain again we are asked to find the value of x in this diagram you have to write solution after writing solution we are going to use tan of the angle that is tangent of the angle 
which is tan thirty equals to the opposite over adjacent and the opposite is x you write your x the adjacent is four centimeter you write your four centimeters then after this you make uh, the other side that is the first side to be fractional by putting one under then you cross multiply when you cross multiply when you are cross multiplying you are going to multiply x by one that is x times one equals to ten thirty times four look at it then you now multiply x times one is x equals to ten thirty is zero point five seven seven four times this four again when you multiply this using any means you are going to have two point zero uh, two point three zero nine six centimeters as the value of x simply I don't think there is any other thing hard here. If there is any problem, you can ask questions under this. It's for you and we are here for you. We are doing this just for you to understand. So please try to understand this. It's very simple. Thank you. Let's move to the next part of the topic.